Hello, welcome back to the We Crochet Facebook page and over on the We Crochet YouTube channel. We are back for another Wednesday chat. It is always so exciting to get to be here with you. I know I say it all the time, but guys, I really, really mean it. Um, you guys are starting to come in and it's so wonderful. So let us know where you're watching from, what you're working on. We're always excited to kind of hear what you guys are doing. I want to share my beautiful top today. This is, let me get it right, our Radiate Motif pullover that we had come out a little while ago with these great motifs. Um, this was originally written in Andean Treasure, but this version is done in our high desert um, in the cot cotton wood sport. And side note, um, all of our high desert right now is on sale for 30% off. So head on over and grab it while it's still there. And I'm going to just tell you now it's for a hundred gram skeins of yarn. So up here, these are all the skeins of high desert. We are getting rid of our 100 gram skeins and we're going to be going down to 50 gram hanks. So now is a great time to, with the 30% off, grab the larger size. It comes in both sport and worsted. This one is done in sport weight. Um, again, the original was done in Andean Treasure. So you can check that out as well if you like that yarn better. But the pattern is awesome. Uh, it's totally customizable with your uh, sizing here. It's oversized. So I actually went down a size for this one so it wouldn't be so oversized. And then you've got your sleeves. You could pull them up. You can make them shorter, whatever you want to do. A nice little collar-ish here. Um, it's just a really great pattern, especially in the transitional time. So check that one out as well. Hi, everybody coming in. Hi, Mandy. Thank you about my sweater. Good morning, Chris. We have another Mandy. Um, hi, Dawn. So great to see all of you. I'm always so excited to see your faces coming on in here. Um, before we jump into our really special guest today, I do want to also remind you, we still have the 20% off the print books that you're going to want to go and check out and grab your uh, books that you've been looking for now uh, while they're on sale. Yes, Chris, this would be a really cute cardigan too. You'd have to do a little bit of work. Um, I mean, you wouldn't have to sew down the middle. You could do the rest the same. Uh, you will have to look here though, because this is a single panel that's added to the top. So you'll just have to make a couple adjustments with what you're doing, but totally could be a cardigan as well. So like I said, 30% off high desert right now, sport weight and worsted. We have 20% off books. Leah, our wonderful marketing manager is going ahead and putting in all the links for us. We've got one thing to chat about real quick. And then we've got a really wonderful guest that I'm so excited to share with you. You guys probably haven't heard of her before. I'm going to take a guess. Maybe you have, um, but if you haven't, you're going to know about her now and you're going to love what she's working on. So before we bring her in, I'm going to bring in Jen over in the studio. And hey, Jen, although we can't really see you right now, there's her hands. Uh, she is holding, uh, or she has in front of her, the Amagurumi collection that we just put out. Um, it's five patterns that you will find individually on the website uh, that you can go ahead and purchase. So we're gonna talk about those. Dawn, I see your comment that you signed up for the Stitch Together blocks. That is so exciting. That is a great crochet along going on right now with our friends over from Stitch Together Official. Um, Leah, I know I didn't tell you that link, but maybe you could find it for us on the website and throw it in there if anybody wants to join that as well. You can buy the pattern exclusively on the We Crochet website, and then you will get updates every time a new block comes out. Hi, Hillary, great to see you too. The otter is your favorite. Yes, they're all so cute, we love them. Okay. Let's run through these so we don't take up too much time for our wonderful guest. Um, the first one we've got there in the front um, is Pebbles the Penguin. And he is the cutest little penguin. The inner tube is not attached. So technically you can take it off and put it back on if you want to. Um, you could make a bunch of penguins, a bunch of inner tubes, or maybe some other accessories as well if you wanted to. He is super cute. Um, I do want to tell you real quick about a really cool construction piece of this. His black part of his head is made as like a wig almost. So you make it separately, you stick it on top of his head or the white circle round, and then you're sewing it on. So it's a really cool construction, a really great way to be putting it together. We love him so, so much. 
along that water theme, we also have Otto the Otter. Oh, I should have said Pebbles is made in Bravo Worsted. Um, Otto the Otter is made in our Wool of the Andy Superwash, and he comes with a little fish friend that he eats, um, <laughs> and he is so cute. Again, you can use up your scraps to make the fish. You don't have to go and get a whole uh, ball of yarn, but we love, love, love Otto. He is just the sweetest little otter that you could have and really great instructions. Um, Jen, show the pads of his feet. He's got even like little paw prints um, on the bottom, which really are super, super cute. Um, also in this collection, we have our happy hippo and he or she, however you'd like to make yours, comes with some different options for clothing. So you make the head and the body, um, the shirt is actually worked into the body of the hippo. So you'll make that right away. And then you have some options. There's a little cardigan, there's some shorts, there's a little dress to it. So again, you could make a little girl, a little boy or whatever you want to do, or make multiple clothing so you can kind of switch it out as you go through things. Oh, I just love him. Um, and he is also made in Brava Worsted. So all of these could be made in a different yarn if you wanted to, um, but we're just telling you what they were designed in. Uh, so our last little creature is our giant panda, and he, or she, excuse me, is made in Wonder Fluff and has a cute little skirt uh, that you add on and a cute little bag to go with it, and it is just so fluffy and soft because of the Wonder Fluff that you use. It is just truly a little great little gifts. So these are perfect like for Easter, for gifting uh, for kids and things like that. Again, that one's made in Wonder Fluff. And the last one that Jen has on the table is our solar system garland. And so it's a bunch of balls basically that you're making and you're changing up the colors to kind of create each of the planets in our solar system and then attaching them to a really nice garland. So we really love that one. And that is um, done in our shine worsted, but would also be perfect for the Brava mini packs that we have where you get the small amounts of a bunch of different colors so that you could go and purchase them. We have a question, are the patterns individual or in a pack? These are all individual patterns. They are not packaged in an ebook. Um, we're just doing them as five individual patterns right now on the website so you can go ahead and grab those. Thanks so much, Jen. We'll probably bring you back at the end to remind everybody about our cute little critters, but thanks so much. Okay. So that's what's going on over here on the We Crochet side of things um, that you can find out a lot of fun and new things. Today, I have a very special guest. Her name is Emily, and she is going to join us. Now, she's a little different than what we've had on the show so, or the live so far. Um, mostly, we've had these designers, and they've been talking about crochet alongs or things like that. She's a little different because she is a business owner of making um, finished items that she then sells and has done a phenomenal job of it. So we're going to take that aspect of what can you do with crochet as a business, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So let me bring Emily in. Hello, Emily. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Um it is so great to have another crochet lover here. I mean, that's why we're here. That's what we're all about. We're loving it. And the best part is the things that Emily makes are using Fable fur. I mean, I love Fable fur, but I, I'll admit, I look at it and I'm not always sure what I want to do with it or things like that. Emily's got the answer for you. The She makes the most adorable faux bear rugs um, that are just phenomenal. You can see them over her shoulders on the um, yarn rack and on the table behind her. I don't know. Do you have one you want to pull up now and show yeah, everybody? Sure. So I have oh, right there. It's backwards, it's, I know. <laughs> it, it's backwards, so it always confuses me. Sorry. Yeah. Um, that's a bear rug. Um, that looks like. Um, this is made out of folk. Um, in your color. And then this is a little one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So oh, these are the ones that I made. Um, I have many more that I make in different colors, but yeah. 
Yeah, so we are posting a link to her Etsy shop, or actually we got her Facebook page in so far. We'll be putting in the Etsy shop as well. So you can go and check out what she's got in her shop over there to purchase. I think they're awesome for baby gifts. Um, I mean, also for just having in your home as well, but really awesome as baby gifts or props for baby photos as well. We are also putting in a link for Fable Fur. So if you haven't tried it out, go try it out. It's totally worth it. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's rewind and let's talk about how you got started in crochet and where the love of the craft comes from. So when I was five, um, me and my mom, um, sewed for quite a while. And then at the age of six, I started crocheting. Um, I was inspired mostly by my friend who is a really good crocheter. And, um, I got started and I loved it. Um, and from six to age 10, I, um, just crocheted blankets and then we gave it away, um, as baby gifts for, to our friends. Um, but how I, I wanted to start a business was my mom posted a picture of this this stocking um, on Facebook, and um, um, our friends. I got like nine orders from our just random friends, and um, so I was like, "Oh, this is so much fun! I want to keep going." And so that's how I kind of started my Etsy shop. Um, I can go into more specifics later, but. Yeah, I love that. Um, you know, most people are always talking about how like their grandmothers kind of teach them and stuff and at what age they started. I certainly didn't start that young. I was definitely an older starter. Um, but I wanted to learn because my great grandmother used to do it and I just wanted to feel, you know, connected to her. So I love that about crochet, how it really does help you connect to friends and family and to share your gifts. And that is awesome that you posted it and you got orders for it and stuff like that. And that kind of started your business. And now here yeah. you are. And there was some fur on the top of that stocking. So yes. must always be kind of your go-to. Yeah. Um, I actually didn't know that there was such a thing as faux fur out there until I saw a pattern by a crafty concept to make the stocking. And then when I started, I was like, there's such a thing as fable fur. I thought this was just like fabric or something. So I was super excited. Yeah, Fable Fur is totally awesome. Okay, <clears throat> so you decided to start a business then. What made you kind of just decide to go with a very um, niche thing? Like, because if you look at the shop, you're really seeing that all of the items that you're making are the faux fur blankets. So what kind of made you decide to stick with one thing? And what made you kind of decide to keep continuing this journey of doing a business? Yeah, so first thing is, we, I think at some point either you can't just keep crocheting you have to either give it or sell it or something so for me selling it um was a fun way that i could um get money and then buy more yarn with it <laughs> um and so that's kind of the reason that i started it and um i think that uh fable fur for me um after the christmas season i got i sold like 30 stockings and then after the christmas season I kind of, you know, sales dropped because it's not Christmas time. So I was looking for something that was not seasonal that I could sell all year round. And so um, it really, I saw a shop that had some bear rugs and it kind of inspired me to start making them. Um, and so, yeah, that was kind of how I started bears. And I just love working with Fofur so much that it's kind of become my shop thing. Yeah, it's so awesome. I love that, that, you know, a lot of times when people are selling their makes and they are doing like craft shows and things like that, you're very right. It's very seasonal and it tends to be more of that winter fall that people are interested in the crocheted items, whether it's hats, blankets, you know, things like that. You've really found a project that really is timeless. And again, with the baby idea, I mean, it's like gold because everybody's always having babies and they always need a gift and they always want a little photo prop. So it is awesome. I love it so, so much. So speaking of craft shows, why don't you tell everybody, do you only sell online? Do you do craft shows that well? And maybe why you kind of made the decisions that you did. So I only sell online personally because of the, of my price range, it's kind of a higher price range. And so um, I knew that 
a lot of people who go to craft shows want like things under $15. And so that was kind of the reason that I don't do craft shows. Um, and then my brand is really towards moms or people who want to give gifts. And so most of the people are online who want to give gifts and not a ton of people go to craft shows and find gifts. Um, so that's kind of the reason. And then social media for me is just much more better, um, much better, not more better, <laughs> much better. And it more moms are on like Instagram and Facebook than they would be at a craft show. Yeah, it definitely expands your reach when you're able to be on yeah. social media. And, you know, selling through Etsy as well is a great idea because you're not supporting your own website when you're starting out. You have a business behind you that knows what they're doing. You can rely on them a little bit more and still kind of start. A lot of people start on Etsy and then eventually get to their own website and things once they get bigger. So that's totally a great place to be starting and a great way to get noticed. I love it so much. And like, again, you're saying with the craft shows, I know so many people when they say, I want to make crochet things and sell them, they default to a craft show. And you're so right that maybe not all, but the majority of craft yeah. shows people are looking for lower priced items. Um, and if you're going to have a niche and you're going to you know, value your work for how many hours you're doing. Sometimes it is expensive. And so this is a really great way and platform for you. So I love, love, love it. So what is it about Fable Fur that kind of gets you excited? And along those lines, what are some of your tips for using Fable Fur? Because we all know it can be a little bit more challenging than regular yarn. And so along with that too, are you holding your yarn double or do you just use the fable fur? So um, to answer the double, um, just one string, strand or two, um, for the muzzles on my bear rug, I do use two strands. But for faux fur, I just use one strand um, and it works really well. Um, and then tips for using fable fur, I would say don't get stressed out about it. Um, Fable Fur is really, really hides mistakes really well. Um, I'd like to think I don't make mistakes, but I'm sure I do. And so it really hides them. <laughs> um, and larger crochet hook to start um, because it would it's a little bit easier to feel with your fingers. Um, and then stitch markers. I use a lot of stitch markers just to be able to um, feel because you can't really see your work. So to be able to feel and then stitch markers. And then one thing I love about faux fur is it doesn't matter how perfectly you tie in your ends because they just hide. <laughs> um, and then um, for what, what was the other question? Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We're just Sorry. talking about Fable Fur and why you love it so much and why it's your go-to. And I think exactly what you said. I love Fable Fur because if you make a mistake, you're not going to know it. You just kind of keep going and it kind of like all fills itself in and everything, which is so wonderful. I always love that part of the Fable Fur. I will admit that is the best yes. part. <laughs> um, okay. So since let's talk about this next, how long have you had your business? So I started it in November of 2021, um, and it was it was kind of I, I got my first sale um, Black Friday, and awesome. um, I was yeah my first year I just sold Christmas stockings that was all I sold, and um, by the end of the year I had had a lot of fun, and so I knew I wanted to keep growing my business, and so that's when I found Faux Fur Bear Eggs that I and then decide I wanted to do those. Um, so yeah, kind of just continuation. And then, yeah, um, my goal is eventually to hopefully continue and then start making patterns. That's my goal too. Awesome. Well, we'll use that as a really good time before I ask you another question that Emily has designed her first pattern, you guys. So we put in there her Etsy shop. Uh, Leah will put in the second Etsy shop. Um, and what it is is she has a second Etsy shop for patterns. There's one stocking pattern in there. If you want to go up and hold it up, it is so super cute. It's like a little dog bone. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and you can purchase that pattern if you would like over in her second Etsy shop. So she is well on her way to going that direction. Yeah. So this one, this one is made out of Bravo Worsted and then 
um, the Fable for In the Color as a bar. Um, this one, I would say that the Robert Worsted comes out a little bit smaller. So if you want to increase this or make it a little bit bigger, just do a multiple of two. So any even number would work. Perfect. So keep your eyes out, guys. There's going to be more stuff coming out yes. there as well. If the faux fur bear rugs aren't your thing, you can keep an eye out for all of her patterns as well. And I have to say, I love the idea that you've separated your shops because so many times people don't understand like this is a pattern versus this is the like finished item. Like they think everything is a finished item. And the new business name is Sweet Creek patterns like people can't mess it up well <laughs> i shouldn't say that you know somebody's going to do it but yeah we'll be able to figure it out yeah that was my really goal and then to be able to serve my audience better that likes that doesn't know how to crochet and then that know how to crochet that was my goal Perfect. in opening my second shop awesome so since you've now opened two shops maybe you could give us maybe a tip or two um, about things that you've done with etsy or preparing to start on etsy and your business that some of the people who are kind of watching might be interested in knowing if they're thinking about going from craft shows into an online selling or just even starting all together with selling yeah i would say my biggest tip is to keep going i faced a lot of adversity when i started my business um, just things didn't go right. And it was, it was a lot of trial and error. And so, um, there's some, you, um, there's some places that I watch, um, creative hive YouTube channel is really helpful. Um, she's a long time Etsy seller and, um, Andrea, I mean, but her, I mean, say the wrong last name. It's Veggie, I think. Um, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy course. That's was really good. I, I've watched both. And then Dave Rose's masterclass was really helpful. Um, it's I know it's expensive, but it I do feel like it laid a really amazing foundation, so I can brand myself well and put a good niche in my Etsy shop. I do have a coupon code for that. It's Sweet Creek twenty five S and C are capitalized. Um, so yeah, and then I would say for me, influencer marketing was really helpful in the way that I send like a product to somebody that has a large social media following, they post something and then I get sales from that, hopefully. Um, that helped me a lot in my Etsy shop. Um, I was really able to grow through that. And then um, keyword strategy, I know it sounds weird, but getting um, high on your Etsy results is so important. And then good reviews, continuing to get good reviews is really helpful. Right. And it's not just having a great product. It's also having the great customer service and being responsive. Yeah. It's not easy to own a business, guys. Like, you have to be willing to put in the time and the effort um, to do it. Because when you own your own business, you really are everything for that business as you go to make it. Um, there was a question about a link for the dog bone pattern. So Leah, could you throw that in again for us so that people can go ahead and find that pattern? Um, let's see. Uh, Leah is also putting in the links for the um, Facebook pages and things that you've been talking about. We're getting a lot of congratulations on growing your business, which is so oh, wonderful. Um, and yeah, so we've got a lot of great comments uh, talking about how cute all the patterns are and things like that. So we love them so much. Um, so let's just talk about the future of Sweet Creek Boutique and where you are hoping for that to go. Yeah, so I'm hoping to continue to grow my um, pattern shop and then, of course, my Sweet Creek Boutique and then shop too. But my patterns, I'm hoping to someday get a YouTube channel and blog for them. Um, but that's, of course, not yet. Um, and then I would say that um, um, making new patterns is a big thing. I want to try making bare patterns because they're mostly, they're basically my own pattern. And so I want to put those up as patterns. I also want to do a fish stocking for cat lovers. So that's, I just have lots of ideas going in my head. Um, and then I just want to keep getting consistent sales and working on that. Yeah, that's kind of my goal. It's a long term goal. So, but that's all right. Long term goals. And when you're ready for patterns, we're here. 
we are happy to uh, work with you and bring them on over to our website in the IDP or in our collections. Uh, we are so excited to work with you and getting to meet you and learning all about this business. Like we're excited. We hope everybody else is excited. Um, even if it's not your thing, just like Emily was talking about, like the influencer sharing, please go over and like her page, um, share about her business and things like that. So other people who are interested can go and purchase it because we know as a crocheter, you say, oh, I could make that. First of all, are you really going to make it? It's, you know, sometimes it's wishful thinking. Um, or maybe you know somebody who it would be a really great uh, project or gift for. So please go and share, even if it's not with a purchase, go and share all about what she's working on. That's the best way we can help support each other. So that is so wonderful. Before we do anything else or wrap up, I do want to say we have a giveaway for today. So all you need to do is put one comment over on the Facebook chat. It has to be in Facebook. Um, one comment is all you need. The tool that we use will eliminate multiple names, so you'll be entered one time. And we are giving away one of our Brava mini packs in the color rainbow. So you'll get a rainbow mini pack. If you are the winner, you'll have until tomorrow afternoon and we'll be picking a winner and going and uh, contacting you for your information. So go ahead and enter for that. Um, people are saying that they're liking your Facebook page and going over to your Etsy shop. So that is so, so wonderful. Um, Thank you so much. It helps, it helps my business more than people think. Yes. Get, getting consistent looks and just all that stuff. Yes, yes. Um, and please share as much as you can. Even again, if you don't think it's doing anything, it really is. It helps to get noticed by other people and just to continue to share the love of crochet because that is why we are all here. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I've had a great time chatting with you, learning about your business, where you're going um, and everything else. It's been so wonderful. Keep up with the Fable Fur. We love Fable Fur um, and we know it needs, you know, some more love. Everybody needs some Fable Fur in their life. Uh, so great. Oh, so exciting. I have a new grand dog and I'm buying the pattern for her. So I guess we're going to have some new stockings. Um, that's always so, so fun. So thank you so much, Emily, for joining us today. I'm going to quick add back in Jen's video here just to remind you to go check out some other amigurumi patterns if you want to get started on something smaller. Um, those are over on the website as well for you to go check out. Don't forget to put your comment in to enter for the giveaway. We've got the 30% off high desert, which is what this uh, pullover is in, which is the radiate motif pullover. And we also have 20% off books right now. So you can go ahead and grab those. So thank you again, Emily, so much. And we will chat with you guys all next week. Same time, same place. Bye.